Ugh. All right. Come on. One collectible to get a trophy. All right, where could it be? Let's look around, because remember, I can teleport now. I get the feeling it's somewhere where I need to teleport. Could it be? Not a. I thought it might be across the river. It's not. I thought you could. You know. No. Fuck. Shit. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think I remember there's a hole over here. To the right. Wasn't there a hole to the right of these dudes? Come on. Yup. Can't be that hard. Got it. Alright, let's view the story, the heirloom. I've always been a kleptomania. It's not that I was lazy or anything, I was just bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was riding an adrenaline rush. But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole that I truly felt afraid. I remember it like it was yesterday despite the years I've been trying to forget it. <laughs> My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. We headed for our usual spot in a run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. We slowly started taking our clothes off. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. One of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. The inside looked the same as all the others, except for one thing. Uh oh. Lying there on top of the central tomb was We're a bunch a of elderly people having an orgy that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. The lemon party wreath. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, <clears throat> I had horrible nightmares a dead-faced hag with rotting flesh. Mm, delightful. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. Mm. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my what? scalp bleeding. What the fuck? I <laughs> chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard so the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all hair 
It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, as was customary in the late 1800s. Huh. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to him. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. No, they wanted to shoot one of them breathe back. I spent my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally get some sleep. <laughs> okay then. So who was it exactly telling that story? This little Easter egg, I guess, is not really doesn't really mean anything. Anything else over here? What the hell? There's a whole different area. Look. Anything else over here? Oh, well, that's a dead end. Anything up here? No. What about over here? Oh! Sacrifice makes a feast for the innocent. Ghost girl's images. These idiots. Alright, now we can leave. <laughs> yes, I sold the woman's hair wreath to the pawn shop, but he, he didn't want to give me money, but he gave me a fair trade. Uh, he gave me a set of anal beads made from human testicles. <laughs> yes, he gave me a delightful hair bow made from pure pubes. Excellent. 